SANIC Python Web Framework, a comprehensive guide for beginners. SANIC is an open source, Python 3.6 plus web server and web framework that's written to go fast. It allows the usage of the async slash await syntax added in Python 3.5, which makes your code non-blocking and speedy. Its main goal is to provide the ability to write fast, as in quick execution, HTTP services. The API is highly influenced by Flask, and it's easy to get started with. In this tutorial, we will take a detailed look at SANIC, its features, advantages, and disadvantages. We will also provide multiple code examples to illustrate the usage of SANIC. Features of SANIC SANIC has numerous features that make it a preferred choice for developers who want to create web applications and services using Python. Some of the key features include, 1. Speed, SANIC is designed to provide quick HTTP responses via asynchronous request handling. 2. Easy to use, SANIC's API is designed to be easy to use and it's highly influenced by Flask. 3. Support for asynchronous request handlers, this is the main reason why SANIC is so fast. It allows you to use the new shiny async slash await syntax from Python 3.5, making your code non-blocking and speedy. 4. WebSockets, SANIC supports WebSockets out of the box. This provides a more interactive user experience for web applications. 5. SANIC Routing, Similar to Flask, SANIC provides a simple and user-friendly way to define routes. 6. SANIC Plugins, SANIC supports plugins for adding extra functionality to your application. Advantages of SANIC Here are some of the advantages of using SANIC. 1. Fast, SANIC is built to provide fast HTTP responses through asynchronous request handling. 2. Asynchronous Support – SANIC natively supports asynchronous request handlers. This is a major reason for its speed. 3. Ease of Learning – For anyone familiar with Flask, learning SANIC should be a breeze as its API is heavily influenced by Flask. 4. WebSocket Support – WebSockets allow for a two-way interactive communication session between the user's browser and a server, which SANIC supports out of the box. Disadvantages of SANIC Despite its advantages, SANIC does have a few limitations. 1. Less mature Compared to Flask and Django, SANIC is less mature and does not have as large a community or as many third-party plugins. 2. Lack of flexibility SANIC is highly focused on speed, and as such, it may not provide the same level of flexibility as other more mature Python web frameworks. 3. Essentio Knowledge Required To get the most out of SANIC, you should be familiar with Python's Essentio Library and the async slash await syntax. Getting started with SANIC To start with SANIC, you first need to install it. You can install it using pip. After installing SANIC, you can create your first simple application. Here is a basic example. In this example, we first import the necessary modules. We then create a new SANIC application and define a new route for the root URL, forward slash. For this URL, we define an asynchronous function that returns a JSON response with the message hello, world. Finally, we run our application on the host 0.0.0.0 and port 8000. You can run this application by saving it to a file and running it with Python.
When you navigate to http forward slash forward slash 0.0.0.0 colon 8000 in your web browser, you should see the JSON response message, hello world. SANIC Routing Routing in SANIC is very straightforward. You can define routes using the add app route decorator or the add underscore route method. Here is an example of both. In this example, we have defined two routes. The first route, slash home, is defined using the at app route decorator and returns a hello, world message. The second route, slash test, is defined using the add underscore route method and only responds to post requests, returning a message stating we're in a post request. SANIC Request and Response In SANIC, you work with requests and responses in your root handlers. The request object gives you access to all incoming data, like headers, query arguments, form data, JSON, files, and more. The response object lets you define what data you want to send back and how. In this example, we define a slash post endpoint that accepts post requests. We access the JSON body of the request using request.json and return a response indicating that we received the request. SANIC Middleware and Exceptions SANIC provides support for middleware, functions that are run before or after each request. You can add middleware functions using the at app middleware decorator. In this example, we print a message every time we get a request and every time we're about to send a response. SANIC also provides a way to handle exceptions in your application. You can use the add app exception decorator to handle specific exceptions. In this example, we handle 404 errors by returning a custom JSON message. Conclusion SANIC offers a fast, easy-to-use framework for building Python web applications. It supports asynchronous request handlers, making it a great choice for applications that require high performance. However, it's less mature than other Python web frameworks and requires knowledge of Essentio to fully take advantage of its capabilities. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. So, get your hands dirty by building something with SANIC.